the Lego Star Wars Snook's Throne Room. That's right, but before we get to that, Geo the Jedi, we have a huge birthday shout out for Lego, Lego for, for Life. Life. That's right, guys. She is one of our amazing members and subscribers on Team Jedi. We love her so much. We love her work and videos that she puts out. She is absolutely amazing. So we'd really love for you guys to check out the description box below and find her link to her channel and go wish her a happy birthday and subscribe to her. Yeah. Why don't you? She is a really great friend and just a great person. So what do we do? Ready, set, go. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, dear Lego, Lego for life. life. Happy birthday to you. Woo! We hope it was your best birthday yeah. yet. And guess what, guys? We are going to get right to this review. Let's check out the minifigures first. Here are the five amazing minifigures that came with Snoke's throne room. Let's start with this evil man all the way on the left, which is the Supreme Leader Snoke. He is the Supreme Leader of the First Order. He is one of the main reasons that Ben Solo turned to the dark side. Did you all know that he is over seven feet tall and super duper skinny? What? Now. This is the same exact minifigure that came with the Star Destroyer, so it's nothing new for this set at all. I do really, really, really enjoy all the gold on top of gold that they put into this outfit. It truly looks like the outfit that he wore in The Last Jedi. Now, next to him, we have good old Kylo Ren, who was once known as Ben Solo. He is the son of Han Solo and Princess Leia who is also Darth Vader's grandson. And he struggles between the forces of the light and dark side. And he was Snoke's student. Good old Kylo Ren with his lightsaber there. Got some nice detail in his torso and legs. And they've got that scar over his face as always, how it should look. And next to them is my personal two favorite minifigures from this set. We have wanted elite Praetorian guards for a while now, and we're so excited to get them in that crimson red. I just love that color red that they, that they wear. It just looks awesome. They are a group of eight human warriors divided into four pairs. They served as elite personal bodyguards of Snoke, and they are just amazing. There is actually a Star Wars battle pack coming out soon, if it's not already out, that will be having some more of them so you can get them for an inexpensive price, which is amazing. We can't wait to pick up those battle packs. Now, as you can see, the one on the left is holding a double-handed um, bladed staff, and then, the one on the right is holding a convertible whip staff and a rod weapon. So the thought behind those two weapons is this piece can actually be switched out for this whip piece. He doesn't actually have to hold both. So that was pretty cool. We got three awesome weapons for those two Praetorian guards. And next to those awesome crimson red Praetorian guards that I love so much is good old Rey. And she is my favorite scavenger who was living on the world of Jakku before she got involved with the rebel resistance conflict with the First Order. And did you guys remember that BB-8 was the first to interrupt her lonely life on Jakku and I'm so happy that he did because she is an amazing character that they brought into the Star Wars franchise. I just love her. She is quite the Jedi and I just can't wait to learn more and more about her. So Geo the Jedi, can you start removing their hair pieces and helmets? Let's check out their alternate faces if they have them. Now you can see the Praetorian guards. They have no alternate faces, neither does Snoke. But let me show you the front of the Praetorian Guards. As you can imagine, they do not have any printing anywhere on their heads. So we've got an okay looking Kylo Ren in the front. We've got an okay looking Rey in the front. But when you turn them around, Kylo Ren is not happy at all. 
And our good old Ray, she just looks A-OK. -okay. There's nothing too mean looking about either one of her faces. So guys, we really hope you enjoyed these minifigure review because we just love them. Jill the Jedi, which one is your favorite? The Praetorian Guards. Yeah, and look, you put his helmet on backwards. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, now let's get to Snoke's throne room. First, let's get a nice 360 view. Good idea, Geo the Jedi. So guys, if you have not seen The Last Jedi, then you will not know what this scene is all about. But this is a very, very iconic scene in that movie. And a lot of things get answered in this scene and a lot of things happen in this scene. It is absolutely amazing. This is one of my favorite scenes in The Last Jedi. So now that you've taken a great look of all of it all the way around, let's talk about each portion of it. So starting with this side, I really do love these beams and the angles that they put into them. It looks really good. Yeah. I will be popping up some pictures of this scene, how it looked in the real movie, so you guys can compare it. And let us know down below in the comments, how do you think Lego did depicting this scene? In my opinion, I think it looks great. What do you think, Geo the Jedi? I really love the set too, Mom Jedi. It is, I'm just mind blown because yes. it's so detailed. They did, they did a great job. So starting over here, we have a couple of compartments. Geo the Jedi, why don't you open that compartment and let's show them we have got some storage area. Now, what we had in there was some weapons, but we have the minifigures holding your weapons right now, but you can definitely fit the Praetorian Guard's weapons in there. Now you can see this little display screen here. There were no printed tiles in this entire set, so everything you see is a sticker, which was kind of disappointing, especially getting these ones on here was really oh, difficult. Yeah. I did those. I did a pretty good job. You did really good, Geo the Jedi, but man, like there's a sticker over here in this elevator. Oh man, those ones were hard to get on too. So just be aware, if you do get this set, there are a lot of stickers involved. So you can see we've got two storage areas on both sides. We've got a nice little goblet in there for Snoke, I'm assuming, and some handcuffs. And now let's get into some of the play features. So, as you can see, Snoke's throne actually spins, and I think that's pretty cool that it moves like that. And we've got this saber there because that is exactly where it's at and what it looks like in the movie. Now, I will say I love the way this throne looks in the back. There's just so many great details that they added to it. And then in the front, it's just okay. They didn't put as many bells and whistles as they did in the back, but I think it still looks great. Let me remove him so you can see I do love this shield piece that they put right there. So that looks pretty cool. And you the Jedi, why don't we show him the force that he uses to pull Rey. Now look at there guys, Geo the Jedi is pulling that knob. Move your hand for a second. See this cute little knob here? It's supposed to depict a part of that scene where Snoke uses the force to drag Rey closer to him. I love it, love it, love it. Here is another awesome play feature. Check it out. All you got to do is boom, hit that, and she goes flying. Let's see if I can make her fly a little bit farther. Ready, set, boom. There hit she the goes. Guard. Good job, Rey. You got him right in the face. Uh... Boosh. So this is actually where Snoke's throne was sitting, and it's just a simple pullout, guys. It's not fixed in or attached by any pegs. It simply pushes in and pushes out. And there's actually storage room under there too that I wanted to show you guys, which I thought was pretty great that Lego added so much storage in this set with those two um, storage that we saw back here in between those beams. The one thing that I do not like about this portion is once you pull her forward, this is just an open pit. There's nothing underneath that to depict any type of flooring or ground. As you can see, my finger goes right through. I really do wish they would have put something under there so you don't see the ground after pulling her because it's not supposed to be a pit. 
it's supposed to just be showing him pulling the force. But I think it's still a great way to show that. Now let's talk about these two portions here. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but they are definitely shown in the movie. They were all fighting around him and you can like really recreate that scene. They're not fixed in by a peg or any type of anything that fixes them in permanently. So when you're, you're playing and they're all fighting, Kylo Ren and Rey are fighting, they can crash into them, knock them out, push them over. So that's another fun play feature that this Star Wars set has as well. I'm really happy about all the play features that this set has. Now this is a cool little part over here. Let me get a good up close of this. I really, really, if I had to love a sticker, I love this sticker they have right here. So this is supposed to be an Oculus, guys. You look into it and this is a window that is showing out into pl the planet, just out into outer space. So as you can see, that sticker is showing stars and other things, which I really do enjoy that sticker. I don't think I've ever said I enjoy a sticker, but it looks great. So let's push that Oculus back in front. So that's another fun feature that this set has. Now for Geo the Jedi's favorite part of this play feature, that elevator that shows Kylo Ren entering the room. As you can see, there's just that little turn knob on top. It spins completely all the way around. You see lots of stickers over there as well. And I like this portion of the lighting that they made. I think it looks really great. Now let's yeah. see the back of this cool elevator. See, there's that little knob I was talking about. Easy breezy. So guys, let us know what you think about this set. Geo the Jedi, what is your favorite part besides the elevator? I, he really likes that hmm. elevator, guys. I'll have to say this force detail yeah, right here. Yeah, that is pretty cool, Geo the Jedi. Except that it shows a big pit in the, like, Yeah, wind you know, Lego can't always get it perfect. Yeah. If we had it always the way we wanted, it would be a perfect world. But it is not. But we love no matter what. Lego does. We're always going to love Lego and their sets. This is just awesome. We really suggest any Lego Star Wars lovers to go out and buy this set. You get some great minifigures. It is just great. I hope you liked our review and if you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe. That's right guys. Stay tuned for more Lego Star Wars reviews and lots of other Lego reviews to come. Geo the Jedi's Christmas haul was large, and now it's time to start going through them and reviewing them. Peace out, pizzas!